What in your career would you consider your proudest achievement? Well, that's a little hard to say. I, I'm proud of all the things I did and, and my years at Dumont. I would have to say probably, I would have to say probably true story, interestingly enough, in New York for a reason. I did that show for four years, 52 weeks a year, where I hired the writers, edited the stories, did the casting, shot the shows live for four years, and met some great people. I had great actors. Uh, I think I already mentioned a, men a number of them. Uh, great writers, who some of them went on and did, you know, terrific stuff. Uh, and some of those shows I was very proud of. I mean, uh, uh, oh, I was proud of all the shows I've done. But I mean, that was one where, you know, and boy, you talk about a budget. I had a budget and I was limited in the size of the cast. And yet, four, can you imagine? Four years of 52 original stories? I mean, I, you know, the ideas. And I would meet with my writers. Uh, there was a gal named Mickey Cousins, who was actually the niece of uh, the cousins that wrote The Nation, or whatever it was. Anyway, uh, she taught writing at NYU, and she used to send me writers. And I would read their resumes and read their, and then I would buy from them. And uh, I bought from all kinds of people, but the point of it is, five, four years of 52 scripts, original scripts. Talk about having to come up with different stories and so forth. Oh, I did a story, uh, I put, uh, uh, Art Mazzio was a writer in Jersey who wrote for me, who was terrific. We wrote, we did one in an elevator where four people got on the elevator and got stuck. And they were all kinds. There was a pregnant woman. There was an old African-American lady who had a heart attack on it. There was, I can't remember their different characters, but there were, and there was the elevator operator. So there were the three women and the elevator. And we did that in an elevator. I mean, a, a set that we, uh, 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 so we did all kinds of crazy stories like that. Uh, we, oh, we created a trailer uh, where we shot from the inside, but we had the outside with trees around it and so on and so forth. We did a lot of stuff at night because <laughs> the dark covers a multitude of sins, needless to say. But I would have to say, if I would just, you know, I'm proud of everything I did and feel that it goes back to what I said. I feel I was an average guy who got very lucky. I made a lot of mistakes, uh, uh, like anybody would, but things like getting young and restless and getting General Hospital and getting true story from having done the doctors and that, those things, I felt very lucky, and yet I consider myself a very average guy. And so that sort of leads into my uh, last question is, is, how would you like to be remembered? An average guy who, with great luck, was able to be successful. I think that's, you know, as much as I can say. I love people, I love actors, uh, uh, I love doing the dramatic shows, and uh, so I would, that's, that's how I'd like to be remembered, working with terrific people, you know, great talented people, and so forth.